Hello guys, what is up? Clums Cat here, and my skin is just so good. It's just so good. Um, in this episode, I... I'm going, okay, I'm going to be showing you guys a guide on Tinker's Construct. I'm not sure if it's a complete complete guide. It should be, and yeah. So the first thing you're going to want to start off with when you're doing Tinker's Construct is making a crafting station by simply putting a crafting table inside either like your crafting slot in your inventory or just in another crafting table and you'll get a crafting station then so that's like the main thing that you're gonna need that starts all of this other stuff first thing that you're gonna need or the next thing is the blank pattern which you can get by going in a crafting station this time two planks like that and then two sticks and that'll get you one blank pattern now you're gonna want about 40 of these or like 32 of these um, to finish all of the rest the next thing you're gonna want is a tool station created by a crafting table with a blank pattern on top pretty simple then you're going to want a tool uh, not a tool a part builder by putting an oak wood log with a blank pattern on top and that'll get you that. And then the final thing, or one of the final things, obviously, is going to be a wooden plank with a blank pattern on top to get you a stencil table. Then, you know, this is kind of optional. It's called a pattern chest with a chest, and you guessed it, a blank pattern. Um, it just holds all of your patterns. So once you've built all of these and you've, like, put them down, go into your stencil table and put your blank patterns in there. And then just slowly cycle through picking out all of these. It's quite simple. Then, now uh, I'm just going to do this with, actually I'll just go into uh, game mode, nope. I'll go into game mode 1 and grab some wood for this. Slash game mode 0. Now you're going to want to just listen to planks. And now we're just going to make a, we'll just make a hammer because why not? So the first thing that you're going to want to do is grab your stuff for your hammer. You can check it, check what you need by the tool station. And then, uh, never mind. So legit, don't need the hammer yet. You need to upgrade your tool station. Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. We'll make a, what is it? We'll make a pickaxe, a wooden pickaxe. So to check it, just go there, go there. Pickaxe, pickaxe head, a uh, tool binding, and a handle. There's our tool binding. All right. So now you want to go to your part builder, put this in, and then put whatever resource you're going to use. So, and then it tells you the material cost, and then it'll just take that much away. So pickaxe head was one. So it just takes one away. Tool binding is 0.5, so it gives you the binding and the stick. We don't need those though, so we'll just put those away. Now this is what you're gonna need. Go to your tool station, select pickaxe, throw them all in. And there you go, you have your main pickaxe. Now the cool thing about these, uh, the Tinker's Construct pickaxes, is that as you dig, I don't know why it's not displaying on here, but like when you dig, uh, yeah, it's not with wood, but if you go with like flint or stone, that you can actually get uh, like more, I guess, acquainted with your tools. So it'll give you like a skill level, how much XP you have on it. Um, and then you can also get modifiers from them. So there's those, and they can't be actually like destroyed. Like, they'll do it, and then you can't use them until you fix them, simply by going in the tool station, selecting this, throwing it in, 
and then putting whatever it is, whatever you use to craft it in there, and then you just get it, and it'll be fully repaired. So this is like just the basic Tinker's Construct that you can do pretty much any time that you can just start out with. And then we're gonna move on to the more, um, the like the higher end tools. So you're gonna want to start by crafting grout, which is sand with the clay with gravel like that in a crafting station to get this grout. Once you have the grout, you're gonna wanna. Okay. Not sure what that was. That was just super weird. What you're going to want to do next uh, is to take your grout. You're going to want to throw it in the furnace. And when it smelts, it will give you something called seared bricks. And it gives you one per time. Yes, it gives you one. So we'll just let that smelt because I already have all of this. What you're going to want to do is take your seared bricks. You're going to want a fair bit of them. And you're going to want to craft them into a lot of these. The block seared brick. Then the second thing you want to do is get a smeltery controller for your smeltery. Which is done in a furnace pattern with the bricks. The next thing is the faucet. Which is like a bucket shape with the bricks. Then you're going to want to get the casting table. Which is like leggings but not, not at all. Then you want the smeltery drain, which I'm not sure what this crafting recipe looks like. I'm just gonna wanna put it with an, like an almost complete pair of leggings just without the one at the top, as you can see here. You're gonna want a tank, which is with the bricks in a furnace pattern with glass in the middle. Then. Uh, one of the final things is the basin, which is a U-shape with the seared bricks. And then the third, the last one, it's optional. You don't really need it. I'm not going to be using it in this like tutorial. But it's the casting channel, which is kind of like a boat in the crafting recipe with bricks to get you four of those. So the next thing you're going to want to make is the actual smeltery. So you're gonna grab all of this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is the resources that you're gonna need. If not, it's good. Like, it's just the seared bricks. But I, you're gonna need all of these. You might need a couple more seared bricks depending on the size that you make it. But it's not that hard to make. So the next thing you're gonna want to do is to go make a three by three hole in the ground like so actually I'm gonna switch into game mode because it'll be much faster for me to make like this and so you'd make the 3x3 three three hole in the ground and you put the bricks like that so now you just have like a floor of bricks then you're gonna want to put like this like this like this and like this now this, the bottom layer is actually already almost done. What you're going to need, though, is what, how I like designing it, is you're going to want to knock off these two, put the controller on one side, and put the tank on the other. So we'll put that and that, because we've just used those. And as you can see here, the smeltery is put together. There's fire in it. Derp. Um, there's fire in it, which means that the smeltery is technically working and you could use it like this but you can do pretty much nothing with it so what you're going to want to do put that on top put that no stupid rain weather here okay and time six dip so when you have it. when you have this set up you're going to want to go to this side, and you're going to want to put the smeltery drains like this, this, and this. Now, you can tell that you've put them in the right way because the smaller holes will be sticking out facing towards you, and the big holes will be facing on the inside. 
and now you only have to do one side but I like doing both sides it's pretty cool like that and then what you can do is you can just put on the bottom and put on the back and now the smeltery is slowly growing in size you can tell because the more layers that you put on here the bigger your smeltery becomes uh, I'll just do like two more layers quickly because a uh, bigger smeltery will be easier to do this Okay, and then that smell tree is pretty much finished, but you're going to want to put seared faucets. Again, I showed you the crafting recipe. You're going to want to put the seared faucets on all of the drains, just like this, and then on the other side too. Not there. There. And that's that part. So now you can actually get the materials out of this. And then these two... You're going to want to put casting tables. Again, you only need one, but three looks cooler. And you're going to need casting basins, which will get you the blocks. Now, you've got your smeltery finished. Looks exactly like this. Looks pretty good. But you're going to need a couple things. First of all, you're going to need some lava buckets to put lava in here to actually, like, charge the charge sort of thing to to get this to work then you're gonna want to in order to actually make tools with this you're going to need to get gold now once you've got that just throw the gold in there and that will all start smelting and you can see in here that it looks kind of cool uh, it's just working it's gonna put it into liquid it's almost done already so let me just break this. This was just like the layout for it, the bottom. Um, once you've got that, you're going to want to go back over here, actually. And you're going, so we'll make a hammer now this time. But actually, okay. There's one more recipe that you're gonna want to make. It's, what is it? It's the tool forge. So the tool forge recipe is three, uh, three seared bricks across the very top of this. You're going to want one crafting station and then iron blocks on either side to get the tool forge. Now the tool forge just allows you to make more complicated and better tools. So that's going... You're going to want to grab your tools, you're going to want to grab your hammerhead, because I'm, well, you can do this with any, I'm just doing the hammer at the moment. Check what it needs, where is it, there, you're going to need uh, two large plates and a tool rod, I believe. So you're going to need two, where is it, two large plates, you're going to need... What is it? The sword blade? No, you're gonna need the. Where is it? Where is it? Where did you go? Let me go ahead, double check it. You need the. Okay, you need that. Just being so smart here. Just so smart. Um. Okay, I. Don't know why. Pattern. Where is it? Okay, I don't know why I don't have that pattern. It's probably just a rod, though. Okay, and so when. So now this has been all smelted. Let's get through here. It's all liquid. You want to go I'll just I'll find the other one. You're gonna want to put your large plate pattern on there. You wanna wait a minute. No you don't. No you don't. Uh grab wood. This is just the best tutorial ever right here. Um Okay. So you're gonna wanna craft this. Come on, what okay, you're gonna want to get planks get your planks out 
and then you're going to want to go to your part builder. Sword blade, I think that was what it was. Um, okay. We are just going to go with the tool rod. God, that's so smart right there. Planks. Grab your planks. Throw your planks in. Take that out. Throw that in. Take your tool rod. The stick. Take your plate. Let me just throw these in there. Sword blade. Tool rod. Okay. Then you're going to grab your plate. Actually, you're going to want two of these. You're going to want two of these plates. Then you're going to want to go ahead, grab a, grab a hammerhead. Okay, now we're going to want to go over here. Going to want to grab all of these. Place that, place that, and place, no, place that. Then you're going to want to put all of those. Tool rod. Yeah, okay. That was the right one. So, just throw that, that, and that, and that. So, now I'm just going to want to grab another large plate because there was two large plates in the hammer recipe. And you're going, so once that's done, like that, grab both, fly back over here. You're going to want to get some manulin. I mean, there, there's different types of resources for this. Uh, like you can get different things. I'm just gonna use manulin. Go back up. I'm gonna use manulin. Smelt that. Okay, so now uh, if you look under the hammer, you can't actually craft anything with it yet because there's these are just the casts. There's no actual materials for it. Um, so manulin, uh, like look, it's just baller bo baller blocks. So with manulin, uh, it's the strongest type of them of all the materials that you can get in Tinker's Construct, and you can find it by mixing. I believe it's cobalt and ardite in the smeltery and you just mix them by putting them both in them at the same time. They'll mix, they'll make manulin. Uh, you can find them both in the nether and you can get this. Okay, so I'll just put those down for now and we'll just wait for that. And so if you're going to want to put what is it? If you want to put, um, forgetting the word, modifiers on your tools, there's a couple different ways. Some of them, there's a diamond, golden block, and another star. There is, oh, I can't remember them now. Uh, I know you can just, like, you can definitely, okay, yeah, see? And then if you want to get that to go to the bottom, just click on it and then that's at the bottom, and then just pour that, pour that, pour that. Okay, so if you guys want, you guys can go, and there are how you, how you make, or how you get the extra modifiers, and how you do all of that. There, It's all on the web, on the Tinker's Construct Wiki. Uh, it's pretty good, but this is just the video on how to get the tools. This isn't on like how to apply modifiers. So once you've got that, you've got all the materials that you need to craft your hammer. You wanna put both of those right there. You're gonna put your hammer head there. Okay, why did that not work? Why did that literally not work?
Okay, let me see if I missed one here. Sword blade. Knife blade. Chisel head. Tough rod. Was it the tough rod? Like, okay, I, I don't know why this isn't working. I'm just so smart right now. Just so smart. Um, we're gonna go to our perk builder. So then, there we go. That's what we want. You're gonna want the wooden tough rod. Throw that on there. Put the gold up top. Pour that. Okay. You don't want the stick. You don't want the tool rod like that. Okay, what the heck? Go back to armor. You don't want that. Throw that away. Okay. Grab both of those. Over here. Throw the manulin on the bottom. No. Give me that back. Give me that back. Tough rod cast. Pour that. And... Yeah, so... Manulin is the strongest resource there is. Um... You get it by Cobalt Nardite. Uh, you find them both in the nether, and it's just pretty cool. Let's throw that in. There we go. There's the hammer. Uh, I guess I can apply one modifier to this, because like go gold block. No slash weather clear. We want a diamond, and we're going to want a nether star. Clear the weather. And then under this one, you're gonna throw your tool in. You throw that and that. And see, so before modifiers remaining three, if you throw those both in there, you get modifiers remaining four. It gives it another modifier. Throw the nether star on it, gives it a fifth modifier. Um, and then if you want to go and add other modifiers, there's uh, different ones like let me go ahead and grab some lapis. And then, so what you do is throw that in there, throw that. And you just keep doing that luck. This is basically like fortune. So then you can keep doing this until you, act, until you get like uh, 450. There's also redstone. If you want, you can use redstone. Redstone is like haste on a tool. Okay, and one of them that I would, so there's mag, ma, where is it? There's a, no, not magma. Wait, well, there's moss, a ball of moss. If you grab the ball of moss, then it actually gives a pretty cool thing called auto repair. Auto repair two. Auto repair three. Uh, it looks like we used up all the modifiers. You can just add more modifiers to it, but this is probably one of the better hammers right now. Let me just switch. No. Game mode zero slash time set day. Do that, do that. Okay, well, uh, if you use, what is it? If you use the slash game mode one, if you mine it with stone, like watch here, and that's not how you spell stone at all. Grab stone. Now, do that. And so you can do this with a whole bunch of other tools, uh, add all the modifiers, you can do all of that, it's pretty cool, slash game mode zero. Now you use your hammer, mine it, it'll mine like a whole kind of thing at once, like you can mine really fast with hammers. And then, but it's only if you use it on uh, like stone or cobblestone or whatever doesn't work on anything else so guys this is pretty much gonna wrap up this episode uh, I hope you guys liked this tutorial hope it helped you out 
uh, my skin still being weird as long uh, as well as the lava down there and um, so again if you want to find more ways to add modifiers just search up add modifiers tinkers construct um, but again this wasn't to uh, add modifiers this was to like make the smell tree and go through more of the basic stuff uh, so the casting basins they're just to get you blocks um, yeah so I hope you guys did enjoy this episode uh, if you did leave a like comment and subscribe as well as go check out uh, our instruction Jordy brand 21 Andy K9 and edit the world they are all really baller and they would all appreciate if you could go check out their channels uh, yeah that'll pretty much just wrap up this episode um, so I will see you guys in my next episode see ya Bye.